Good afternoon, my name is Tim Campos. I'm the Director of Recruitment Programs here at Art Center College of Design. For this edition of our Facebook Live, we're uh, actually, it's a special occasion. We're with the Entertainment Design Department for their spring graduation show. And also with us today, we have Guillaume Eretos, our Department Chair. Thank you. Also, we also have a few additional uh, members of the Entertainment Design Department, some of our directors of each of our tracks here. We have Christoph Do Gomez, who is our director of game design, and also Marlon No, who's our director of animation track. And so we're going to make our way inside the spring graduation show. Guillaume and I will talk about some of the work, and then we'll also talk about some of our other tracks here. And throughout it all, if you have any questions, we always encourage, please ask away, ask us questions towards the end, the last uh, five or 10 minutes or so. We'll go to Facebook and check out if you have any questions about the programs, anything you've seen today, and we'll take those as they come. Perfect. Let's make our way inside and check out some of that work. So again, this is the spring uh, graduation show for entertainment design. And uh, Yo, maybe you can talk to us about some of the work that we have on display here today. Yeah. So the uh, so the entertainment uh, you know design program is a, is an, an ecosystem now that's actually growing. We have. Uh, these are the students from the concept track. We have an animation track and a game design track that's starting very soon. So um, these are, you know, after eight terms at Art Center, uh, the graduating class. This term we have four students graduating. Um, um, so Luca here um, already is a graduate in film uh, and also graduated in concept design. So the concept track is about designing uh, uh, for stories. So the, 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 the curriculum is geared towards uh, craftsmanship, uh, for which Outsider is extremely famous and very strong, uh, and uh, with uh, a point made on storytelling, which is extremely important because that's what we do. We actually are uh, telling stories with images, so here, Luca created a world, uh, which we have a map up here, if you want to come and see. Uh, so he invented a whole world uh, that, of course, does not exist, uh, uh, with, which, it, which is genetically modified, and it's human genes mixed in with animal genes, uh, and, uh, and made those creatures, cat creatures, dog creatures. Uh, so Luca is an extraordinary painter, uh, uh, and uh, has a fabulous sense of lighting. Uh, as you can see, um, and he represented one of each of the, the creature of uh, inhabiting uh, five continents uh, on this made up planet. But basically, the idea of the, 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 um, uh, the whole work uh, of Luca on this was literally world building, meaning building a world that does not exist. Uh, and going into every detail, the coherence of the design. Uh, so we did work with him. Uh, I was one of his, you know, professor with Michael Chefe on the on the last uh, uh, graduating class. Uh, so we go deep into the concept of what he wants to accomplish. Uh, uh, for animation, the grad students are making uh, animated films. Uh, and I go back a little bit to the idea of the entertainment design department with those, those three tracks is that when you come here and you start studying here, um, after four years you graduate with a game, a film, uh, and in interdisciplinary uh, uh, collaboration between the concept track which is uh, all about painting and designing and drawing and sketching uh, uh, with the animation track, which is all about creating films and actually animating characters, it's the movement of it and the storytelling and storyboarding. Uh, but you know, Marlon will talk a little bit more about that. Uh, and the game design program, which we're starting in September uh, by uh, uh, admitting 17 students, um, and we uh, and we are then in th at the end of the game design program. The capstone project is actually uh, about making a game. Uh, so, and Christophe, the director, will talk about that a little bit later. Um, so here you go, so Luca, uh, KB is fascinated by animation, loves animation, uh, um, you know, extraordinary craftsman, uh, this, this uh, four young men. Um, so you have very varied work, KB is very uh, versatile, uh, so you have, you know, science fiction work here, uh, more animation work, 
uh, where you can see you know ability in layout prop design uh, so this is typically in a film uh, what is called a package which is the whole design for an environment uh, character designs uh, lighting scenes uh, uh, for production so basically the 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 philosophy of the department is to put you uh, as much as we can in a professional environment so that you can, um, um, you're not shocked when you actually get into the real world. Um, it's, uh, we put an emphasis on storytelling, we also put an emphasis on, uh, on team uh, work. Uh, because you don't make a movie alone, you don't make a, a game alone, um, and teamwork is essential. Uh, so we we uh, we have in our classes group projects, um, so so that you get used to do that uh, in the real world. So Alex uh, picked a sci-fi story um, uh, of uh, humans transferring to another planet. I guess the Earth has been destroyed, um, and uh, and so here you have the final paintings. You have sketches of small paintings he did for that story uh, and here the process you go through as a you know concept artist uh, working on the movie which is basically storyboarding in a in a in a loose way at first and then you're doing those roughs in color and then you're going all the way uh, uh, with full-on rendering and defined uh, uh, designs and Sham here, uh, so Sham created his own film. It's basically ready to pitch, um, and that's the idea. Um, so it's the story of a, of a son who uh, um, uh, is from a tribe that's moving through uh, Mongolia uh, and discovers uh, that he has an, an enormous power, but it's um, it's uh, it's um, uh, um, malefic, you know, evil superpower that he has to learn to control. Um, and, then, and then there is a revelation. I mean, I don't go into the story too long, but anyway, it's already to pitch, basically. So here you go, another extraordinary uh, young man. Uh, so now, uh, actually, before, Tim, before we move on and talk about animation and game yeah. design, uh, maybe you can address for anyone who might be thinking about applying. Yeah. What would you look for in like a concept design portfolio? I know there's yeah. each of our portfolios here are completely different between game, uh, animation, and concept. So, what are some things you might look for in a portfolio for our concepts? So, in concept, we're looking for. Uh, um, um, uh, a very strong ability in drawing, sketching, um, uh, uh, painting, a good sense of lighting, a good sense of figure drawing, uh, anatomy, we'll push that all along. Um, uh, a, a great sense of storytelling, uh, because that's really important, because it is why we do what we do. The fundamental of the job is actually to design stories and to push them, so um, with an emphasis also on big picture thinking, meaning uh, why do we design the way we design and going far into detail from the big picture? Um, uh, and that's why that collaboration with, between the department is great, because we actually are uh, able to leverage from uh, the animation students. Um, so in a portfolio, um, it's a very strong drawing and painting portfolio overall, uh, with a nice, sense of, uh, a nice sense of storytelling. That's the main point. Great, I guess another question I would have for Guillaume would be, where are some of your students uh, who are alumni now are going, and these are uh, four amazing graduates who are gonna go off and, and into the industry now. So what are places that we see some of our entertainment design students going these days? Everywhere. So the, the, the animation industry, the special effect industry is exploding. We have studios, animation studios popping up um, everywhere. In, on the planet, um, um, Europe, you know, Asia, America, everywhere, South America. Um, so um, the students are really going everywhere, doing a lot of different things actually. They can be designing films, but they can also be designing games, they can design theme parks, uh, they can design live shows. You know, one of, the, uh, one of the, the recent graduate from last term is right now designing on Broadway uh, a, a set for a show. Uh, so there is many things that you can do, uh, which you know 20 years ago was not the case. 
uh, but there is a very high demand uh, right now for concept artists because we went from uh, uh, you know from uh, uh, where into the digital revolution where images is everything we need people to design all of this to imagine all of this to put you know to tell all those stories um, so it could be you know it could it can be really anything it's a big adventure uh, right now on top of that you know we are listening and we're very uh, um, uh, geared toward the new technologies uh, VR AR uh, all that stuff which is also making an entrance into uh, into the movie business uh, you basically do what we call previs now and previs can be very sophisticated we use game engines to do that pre-visualization pre um, uh, with effects with lighting already in so all of that is evolving uh, you know as we speak <laughs> and so we keep an eye on that because all of that is very important Perfect. Great. So now I think so we've uh, been able to see where from graduating students in our concept track. Um, and although we don't have graduating students from the animation track this term, we're actually going to still talk a little bit about animation. So if you follow me on this way, we'll uh, meet with the uh, program director, Marlon, and he'll give us a brief uh, overview of the animation track here that he directs. And we have some examples as well to show. Yeah, so the animation track at Art Center is a very hands-on track that uh, teaches everything from storyboarding, modeling, rigging, texturing, animating, 2D and 3D, um, to viz dev, to rendering, the whole spectrum of uh, producing animation. Um, our focus initially, the first three terms, is fundamental, so we'll teach you everything, and then after that, um, we'll let you specialize. Um, and throughout the program, we have a shorts program where you make uh, a couple of short films in group, uh, which teaches you to work in teams, which is really important uh, when you go out and find work, that they see that you're able to function within a group setting. And um, I think what sets us apart from other schools is that we have an extremely um, like talented faculty. Um, a lot of people are still working at Disney, DreamWorks, and so forth, but lots of experience are teaching here. Um, and um, yeah, so it's a really, you know, kind of like a trade school approach where we put a focus on doing a lot. You, you know, we give you assignments where you practice all these skill sets because the only way you get better is really by doing it. So that's kind of our main focus. Um, and then long term, obviously, our focus is to get you a job in the industry, which Guillaume was saying is enormous and still growing. Like games, huge movies are huge. Everything is on screens now, and there's so much demand for content that the animation industry is um, ever expanding. So we like um, we like to focus our attention on that. So when you graduate, you actually get a job. And also, I was wondering uh, if maybe you can talk about some of the different areas. So I think students sometimes are just focused on animation, and they love character development. Um, and we talk about how you know to actually fiz bring the, the characters to life. Uh, but once they get here, what are some of those other areas they can focus in, like? storyboarding right. or character development. Right, so there, there's the actual animating, which is the movement of uh, the character, um, but that's only one segment of what we teach. We put a huge emphasis on storytelling, because that's really uh, important, because why else you know, do anything? If there's no story to it, people won't really want to watch it and be you know, drawn to it and feel the character. So storytelling is huge, so that is storyboarding both for TV and um, film. Uh, we also design characters and worlds and environments and we teach you how to uh, use color and shape and appeal and then we teach you how to model them in 3D with ZBrush. Um, we also teach you how to rig characters so you can make a move and put a skeleton in there. Um, we teach you lighting, CG lighting. We have a very strong faculty, uh, they're all supervising at Disney, a uh, very strong CG lighting uh, faculty and so it's a really kind of a holistic approach to teach you the entire process while also allowing you to, to focus on one specific segment. Because typically in the industry, they do want you to focus on one segment. They don't want you to be good at everything. They want you to be really good at one thing and also know about other segments. And that's kind of like our strength. You'll be, for example, you'll be a really good modeler, but you'll also know how to rig and maybe design characters. So it's, it's that kind of combination that makes you really strong as a candidate uh, to find work. Plus, you'll will have worked in teams, which you know you'll have the social skills and team skills to operate within a studio environment, which is really important. 
And I have a, a similar question that I ask Guillermo about concepts. So for the animation track, um, what are some things you might be looking for in a portfolio for anyone interested in applying to the animation track, the entertainment design? What are some highlights? Exactly. So what we look for is what I call sparks. I want to see sparks of your imagination. I want to see your passion. I want to see if you've animated anything on your free time, put it in your portfolio. Um, anything that shows you have an original you know, look on things and you're exploring. Uh, sometimes people think, because I've worked at Disney for a long time, Guillaume was at DreamWorks for a long time, that's, that is that what we want to see in a portfolio. But that's not really what we want to see. We want to see original stuff. Like show us something we haven't seen before. Show us you have a passion. You know, maybe you made a little music video, maybe you did a little bit of 2D animation. All that stuff is so uh, valuable for us to see that you'll thrive in the, in the track. Because we'll teach you how to do it, right? That's, that's also a tough part of it. But even tougher is to find someone with a great imagination. And that's really what we're looking for. Perfect. And then um, you don't have any graduates this term, but maybe you can talk about where some of your students in the animation track um, or, or interning possibly, or some of the other things are doing, uh, you know, before graduation? Yeah, so our first graduates will be uh, graduating in spring 2019, uh, but currently we are um, having students in sixth term, uh, and two of them actually are um, in, um, interviewing for uh, internships at DreamWorks, one for story and one for modeling, uh, but our goal would be when they graduate to definitely get them ready for that type of job. Uh, another student is uh, interning at Mattel, where she's designing and modeling toy characters. Um, so yeah, I mean, the last two terms of our track, there's a portfolio class in there, where we just focus you on um, working on your portfolio and very kind of like a laser focus on uh, what you want to achieve at the end of it. So I'm sure once uh, these students will graduate, they'll find work no problem. Perfect. And maybe before we, uh, we transition and talk about game design, maybe we can talk a little bit about some of the uh, examples you have here. What is some of the work uh, from s some of the courses? Uh, sure, yeah. So, um, you know, we, like I said, we do modeling. So that's uh, right here. That's Core. She's our most talented student in terms of modeling. She designed this character and modeled it herself. Uh, she's in sixth term. Um, and then we have some, uh, let's see here, uh, some VizDev work um, we have some 2d animation this is lighting so where you put a character that you model into a real life environment and, and light it uh, and texture it so this guy's got a lot of like fungus on him <laughs> so um, and then there's um, for example I'm kind of scrolling forward here um, some animation obviously this is a 2d animation done in I think fourth term so it's uh, we do quadrupeds but like you know this has a story to it, and that's really the essence of this. Like, it's not just animated, there's a little story. It's about a dog who wants to crawl next to his little owner and sleep, you know, so there's a little bit of story there. Um, and then uh, this is, again, Core. Uh, she's doing 2D as well. So this is almost like feature quality, uh, really good animation. Uh, still in, this is what we call line test, where it's not colored yet. But this is acting between two characters, so very important. This is a CG class where you just do posing, which is really important. Um, I love this one. This is uh, some, a student did this for um, VizDev, and it's, I find this very fascinating. It's this surreal, kind of like yellow submarine world. Uh, I would love to see her do something um, and, and work this into a film. Uh, so as you can tell, there's a lot of variety. You know, there's some like Disney looking stuff. There's some surreal stuff. There's some you know, more edgy stuff, more space stuff, so uh, a lot of variety, which I like, and that's really what we want to see um, coming out of these students. Perfect, thanks, Ron. So now we're going to talk a little bit about game design at Art Center. Again, it's a, it's a uh, fairly new track, so we're still accepting applications for fall of 2018 for game design, but I wanted to take a, a few minutes and talk with Christoph Gomez, our director of our game design track. And maybe you can share with us um, what students can expect since it's, it's a brand new program that will be kicking off in the fall. And yeah. Sure. So, as you said, it's the latest uh, baby in the entertainment design uh, program. So, so we are going to follow the same philosophy as a uh, concept and animation to 
teaching a lot about skill work, teamwork, sorry, teaching about uh, craft craftsmanship, working and uh, learning from professionals. And we are lucky that uh, in LA we have some of the best studios in the world, like uh, Riot, Sony Santa Monica, Naughty Dog, Blizzard, EA. And so uh, the list is very, very long. So we're going to get a lot of. Uh, faculty coming from these uh, studios, uh, so that's our, our, our philosophy, same as the uh, other two uh, tracks. So, uh, specifically in terms of game design, so what we expect a game designer to, to do is, is focusing on the experience of a game. So it's going to be uh, working on, on the plot, on the story, on the rules of a game, all these different components. So, so first three terms of the program are going to be about uh, fundamentals, learning how a game is made, so that you can interact very well with a team uh, and work by yourself. Uh, learning about the creative process for games, so what makes it fun, uh, what are the rules that uh, we should apply in this process, what is the player's perspective on the game, so talking about all these uh, elements and uh, learning about that. And also, of course, making games. That's, uh, and we have so many different platforms to explore, so can do platform game on console, we can do a, a mobile game, we can do VR games, we're going to have to explore all these different components that uh, are games today, so it's a, it's a very, very wide uh, industry, so uh, that's that's what the program is about. So to start, there will be a little bit of programming, a little bit of uh, art to, uh, to produce, and learning how to work with concept artists, and it will be a, a fabulous experience for, for our students to work with some of the best concept artist uh, around, so an animation artist, so that's, that's going to be a fantastic experience for, for them. So. Great, and again, just as a reminder, it's a brand new track, we're beginning in fall of 2018, and if you're, if you're interested about learning more about game design, you can always connect with us in the admissions office. We can not only address game design, but also animation and the concept tracks through entertainment design as well. It kind of help you figure it out where you kind of belong, um, but if you are interested in game design, we're still accepting this application, so don't be shy to connect with us in admissions. Uh, which brings me to the uh, point about admissions and the benefit of meeting with us in admissions. Whether you have work to show or you're not really sure at the moment which program is right for you, we always encourage students to connect with us in admissions. That way we can counsel you through that process. We meet with the department chair, so in this case we do meet with Guillaume and the rest of the directors when we review uh, portfolios. And so we know what, exactly what they're looking for, what they're tired of seeing, and what they want to see more of. And so again, I think across the board, what they could all agree is that they want to see your creativity and they want to see your storytelling. And so if that sounds of interest to you, anything that you've seen today, Again, we want to connect with you in admissions, so you can always reach us uh, simply admissions at artcenter.edu. Um, if you haven't been to campus, great opportunity to visit campus. You can schedule a tour, just hop on uh, one of our tours here at our Hillside campus. You can also explore the entertainment design department through those tours as well. Um, if you can make it out tomorrow, actually, because technically this is a part of our graduation show, if you can make it out tomorrow, uh, the graduation show is open to the public. 1 to 6 p.m. here at our hillside and our south campus so not only can you explore entertainment design but the rest of our programs here at the undergraduate and graduate uh, level um, and so i get at this point we're going to open it up to some q a so anyone who might have any questions i did see a few questions coming up so let me just hop hop on to uh to facebook here and see some of those questions that are coming through live as we speak so let's see a quick refresh and see i know there was at least one or two the first question comes from Maggie Wu. Hi, Maggie. Maggie asks, I know the illustration major has an entertainment arts track. How does that differ from entertainment design, the concept major? And so I'll bring uh, Guillaume into, into the conversation here. Maybe you can help address that. But again, to emphasize, if, if you have want more information about any of the, the programs or even illustration to entertainment art programs, connect with us in admissions and we'll help you through that process. But mm -hmm. maybe you can kind of help Help yeah. address that as well. So the, uh, I mean the, the the entertainment design program. So this program is very focused on uh, for concept on movie design and game design uh, as well as theme park. So there is a it's very practical. There is a lot of the curriculum is basically built to give you all the skills you'll need to come out into the world and uh, and 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 be in a good place. Uh, um, you know the the. Um, um, uh, the, the the work here and the the, the 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 standard is very high not that it's not in the other track but we are extremely demanding the the first two terms of the track 
is very uh, is very uh, tough. So be ready uh, when you come in. Um, the the curriculum is really architectured uh, uh, very technically to give you everything you need uh, from uh, figure drawing to perspective, uh, the old-fashioned way to 3D to After Effects, so that you can actually make pitches of ideas uh, so that you are as well-rounded for the two industries, both film and game, as we can make you. Um, uh, in terms of the, the animation program, uh, it just so happens that both Marlon and I, I mean, I was a production designer for you know, 20 years at DreamWorks, and Marlon, uh, 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 a fantastic Disney animator uh, who worked at Disney also for a very long time. Um, most of our faculty are actually professionals uh, who work in the area because Outsider is ideally placed to have uh, uh, people come in and teach uh, here uh, who are active professionals. So all the new trends, all the stuff happening in the industry uh, we have access to because we are lucky to be here, uh, very precisely here. Uh, uh, in LA, uh, literally the DreamWorks campus is on the other side of the hill if you've never been here. Uh, the Disney campus also on the other side of the same hill, um, which is not a very big hill, it's not a mountain, it's a small hill, so anyway. Um, so uh, uh, humor is important also in the admission process, and just so you know, um, uh, because it's actually a way to make a living in animation to be funny. So not that I am, I'm not very funny, but that's, you know. So. But um, uh, so uh, the so for the concept track, the animation track, and the game design track, uh, uh, you know, Christophe has built the curriculum in uh, same thing, a very precise way to give you all the skills you need to be a game director uh, with on, an understanding of not only you know game mechanics but also the market, uh, the tools, uh, the technical tools, tools to allow you to make uh, prototypes. Uh, um, and the idea, the whole idea, as I, as I you know, uh, started with, is an ecosystem that allows our students to collaborate uh, in storytelling, in games, animation, film, both preparing for live action or animation. Um, here you go. Yeah, and I think to also further assist in, in, in just your explanation of it is that a real big distinction between illustration, there's five different tracks, one of them is our entertainment arts track, mm -hmm. it's a Bachelor of Fine Arts program. And the entertainment design program and all the tracks are Bachelor of Science. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's, that's a, a big distinction as well, something to keep in mind for any of you who might be thinking between any of them. Um, but again, the easiest way, maybe not easiest, but the, uh, the best way to figure out where you stand and which, which program is best for your interest, your career aspiration, again, I can't stress that enough, is to connect with us in admissions. That way we can counsel you through that process and figure out what you will need for a portfolio as well. Yeah, and I think, I think that may have been the only question. I'll just do one last check here and see if any additional questions have, have come through uh, during our conversation today. It seems like the only one was from Maggie. Um, so if, 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 that's, if that's all we're getting at the moment, I think we've covered it all. We've covered all three of our tracks here, concept, animation, and game design. We also talked about a little bit about what each track is looking for and the portfolio requirements, if in ten you do uh, decide to apply to Art Center. And then lastly, I just want to reiterate about connecting with admissions. You can always schedule counseling appointments with us in the office. It doesn't have to physically be here on campus. If you're in New York, if you're across seas, if you're international, you can always schedule those counseling appointments with us uh, by phone or by Skype. We can also provide you with feedback. If you have some work, great. If you have no work and you want to figure out, well, what do I have to do to apply to one of these programs? We can also facilitate that process and counsel you through uh, what are some of those resources that might be available to you. Great, thanks again.